slap me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why, why thank God just did what he did now. <laughs> All right, so I really appreciate every one of you. And um, yes, once again, I think this is the first time that I'm meeting everybody. Um, yeah, my name is Mr. Chicho, and I am a product designer. And yeah, it's actually an honor to be here and to see some great minds here as well. And first things first, I don't know why Tango started with Chelsea. We'll, we'll discuss that one maybe maybe later on. <laughs> because I think I've been sad since my weekend. I don't want even bother to ask me about it again, but it's fine. Um, all right, so welcome, guys. I. <laughs> Uh, this is a kind of funny comment here. All right, welcome, guys. Um, like I said, my name is Mr. Chicho, or just call me Chicho. I'm a product designer. And um, yeah, so we'll be discussing design components today. And I hope you guys are ready. Um, so I don't have slides. And yes, this uh, meeting is also, also being recorded. I would also expect that you guys maybe if you have. Um, a pen and a paper beside me. If I saw sort of jot down um, as move on in the class. All right. So um, before, I'm not sharing my screen yet. I'm not sharing my screen. Yet. So before um, before we start, since my audio is low, I, I think it's the next one here. Yeah, it's really raining here, and it's probably wooden network. And um, but can you guys hear me now? Ouch! Okay, give me a minute. Let me let me. Uh, okay, thank you. I said so. My I, I have different methods of teaching. I have different methods of teaching, yeah, and I try as much as possible to make sure that um, even the layman could actually understand everything that I'm saying. So I might, or I will be using real life um, examples to help you understand what we're discussing. So even if you don't get any definition, you can actually understand what it is and even come up with your own definition of what we're discussing. All right, so, um, the topic today is UI components, yeah? Um, but you can't really um, start talking about um, the UI components if you've not really discussed or said stuff about the UI elements, all right? So we know that um, a UI component is just basically a whole, just like um, a lot of building blocks that comprise together to form a whole, while the UI elements are those little, little blocks that um, can actually, you know, stand separately or they can actually be combined together to form a whole right so i'm going to be using um let's say a car for instance um you have in your car the, the car is a whole body so you can refer to the car as a component yeah then the ui elements or the car elements are the wheels the tires the steering's, the plugs parts of the engine, not even the engine as a, as a whole, because the engine as a whole too is a component, all right, that you could um, still see sub-components there, which is um, the elements. I don't know if this makes any sense. So um, you'll be having this little, little particles. Um, I don't know if most of you who are who actually um, did um, computer science, you know about um, atoms, molecules, and the rest of them, you know that these are like um, smallest particle of an element. All right. Yeah, I'm not sharing my screen yet. I, I don't have, I'm not sharing my screen. I don't have any slides for this. So, um, and sorry, thank God. Are you there? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Okay. Um, have they been taught, um, have they been, uh, have they had any class concerning um, Figma, like how to use Figma already? Yeah, I think Gima Gima worked them through um Sigma to the last class on Thursday. Okay. Okay, okay. Let, let's let's go on then. All right. So um having said that, I will just um give a little bit of explanations on what I meant. 
and then we get the different um, um, different explanations or the differences between UI elements and um, components. Then give an example. Of course, I will also give you a resource for you to can check out and you know read more on this topic. All right. So like I said, UI UI components and UI elements they are both part of a user interface design. All right. So just like I said, the car. The car is the complete system now. The car is the UI um, design itself. But this UI design now has a bit of components and also um, um, elements that came together for them to build this thing. So the UI interface, which is the car, um, in this scope now is the complexity of everything mm -hmm. together. All right, so UI elements on its own are the basic building blocks of a user interface. All right, so I'll come again. UI elements are the basic building blocks of user interface. So these are just like these little particles, like I said earlier on. So you have stuff like the buttons, the text field, the, te um, the check boxes, the radio buttons, all right? So they're typically small, simple, and you can reuse them as they are reusable across different parts of the design. So you can find them in different places. All right, so UI elements are often designed with a particular kind of style. So um, if you notice, um, for a good UI design, you don't use different kind of icons from different creators. You have to find an icon pack, right? And use only that icon pack in that system. You don't take this icon pack here, take only the um, home icon and go to another pack and go and get something like um, the settings icon and go somewhere else and because if you notice, so my icons has this um, tiny lines or tiny strokes to them, while some has the you know the heavier strokes on them. Um, probably, I might actually show you guys an example. And as we go, so um, they are designed to use, except when you now bring them in your own design, you want it to be this exact color, right? So they can be combined with other elements to create complex UI components. So it's when you add them together, bring them together, you can now form a complete UI component. All right. So that's for um, UI, uh, UI elements. And like I said, examples are like buttons, text fields, check boxes, radio buttons, drop down menus, um, icons, like I said, tool tips, even progress bars, all right? These are elements, um, these are UI elements. So that's for UI elements. Um, then also for UI components now. So UI components on the other hand, they are, like I said earlier on, they are larger and more complex than the UI elements. They're typically made, of, made up of um, several UI elements and designed to perform specific functional actions right in user interface. So let's say stuff now like um, the navigation bar, right? So navigation bar now is made up of um, different UI elements sometimes. Yeah, most of them are made up of different UI elements and making it a component now, it serves a purpose for proper navigation throughout the system, right? So you know that now that you, when you have your navigation bar, it helps you to navigate throughout the whole entire system easily, right? Without having to go back, 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 front, 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 and the rest of them, all right? So examples of these UI components, um, they include, like I said, navigation bars, even forms, um, where you fill in forms, your models, your sliders, all right? So basically, UI components, they are mostly complex interactions and they have complex behaviors to them. You can have a lot of action buttons on them. You can have even scroll actions on them. You can have checks, uh, check action uh, actions on them. You can have radio um, button actions on them. You know, selectors. You can even have stuff like um, date speakers and the rest of them. So these are components. And for mobile design, when you're designing mobile, it's the same way you, if you want to do stuff like that, when you have complex systems or complex um, interactions. What we normally use is this bottom sheet, the one that slides from down upwards, and you can actually select multiple things. So 
perform usual reactions. Then even your modals to that pop up, right? They also help you perform more than one action. For example, you can choose to accept or you can use to choose to delete. You can choose to continue. You can choose to cancel, right? So you see that now that you can perform more than one action to on a component, all right? So, and the examples of uh, navigation, uh, example of these comp um, components are like navigation bars, the search bars, the modal dialog, like I said, the accordions. So I don't know if you guys know what accordions are. Does anybody know what accordions are? Okay, yeah, um, someone is raising their hands. Okay, um, a lot of you said they don't know what accordions are. Okay, so I'll give you a typical example so you understand what accordions are. Uh, good evening, hello. sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. yeah I think your background is very noisy. Sir, please, we can't see your screen, sir. I don't know if you are projecting anything, sir. No, I am. I am not projecting yet. I'm not projecting yet. So I told you guys. I am not projecting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. So, um, like I said, I don't know if any of you have any idea of what accordions are, and a lot of people say they don't know. So, um. Having said that, let me just um, put that up on the screen now. Um, uh, what site should I use? Um, okay, hold on. I think I'm going to be having troubles with my network, so it's kind of, kind of like slowing a lot of things down. Um, So you guys just give me a minute. Let me try and um, pull this up before sharing my screen. So Okay, so you guys, um, before before I put up um, an example for you guys to see physically, um, I hope you guys have seen stuff like, um, what do I call it? This friendly asked questions. Yeah, 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 I've seen one. If you must congeal, let me know. Can you see my screen? Can anybody hear me? Some kind of Okay. If you see stuff like this, this uh, these are accordions, right? So um, they have hidden details on them, but they're just filled with like a big caption, right? So you have to perform an action for you to see the whole details, just like this. So when you, um, let's say, and they're mostly used on them, FAQs. So they're just like drop downs, all right? So you have your FAQ and what do I need? to apply for cyber products and when you click on this plus icon then it's going to be um then you see that there are more details um, attached to to it all right you can take it back you can expand again and close so i don't know if that's clear did anyone did everybody that
Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, so that's what I'm um, according. So also will be shared again. Then we also have. <laughs> no, it's not the musical one. No, please. Uh, we also have um, carousels. So I hope. You guys know what carousels are. You know, the ones that you have to select either going forward, like let you scroll vertically, sorry, horizontally, I mean, those are carousels. So, having said that, um, I'll ask questions to the class now. So, which example from the UI component, UI elements example? In my network is breaking. Sorry. Okay, I said um, for the examples that I've given you guys. So, um, from example that I've given an example from the UI components um, that uh, we just talked about. I think the network is really bad though. Can you guys hear me now? Uh, not the two guys, I think. Arms and the tools at some point is great. So we are like breaking between your words, and then we can't quite get some parts. I don't know if I can speak for everyone. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I don't know what happened. Um, okay, like I said, I just hope you guys got um, the path for the accordion. So I just showed an example of. An accordion, yeah, and like I said, they are mostly used for parts like um, the FAQs of a landing page, like the frequently asked questions, because you know they just hold or, or they kind of like hold multiple um, multiple um, details about a particular thing, right? And but they just represent what is seen is basically. Um, either a question or something else. So when you now click on on an action there, that is when you now see the whole detail. So let's just say most of them are like they are hit is basically what accordions are. So they just help to details. All right. So um, Obuna, you can ask a question. Oh Christ! Uh, I just hope I get this thing correct. Um, my network fixed. This is this uh, <clears throat> um hello can you hear me hello can you hear me uh well, now we can hear you okay um please uh I didn't get I didn't quite get the components of UI you listed I don't know I think the network was breaking so the only one I got was this um accordion. I didn't get the order. Okay. Please, if you can, please recap, please. Okay. Um, which particular one did you say that you didn't get? I didn't get any one. I only got the accordion. That's the only component okay. I heard. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. So, like I said, um, I hope you guys can hear me now. Is it not so better now? Yes. 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 It's better. All right, thank you. Um, so um, I'll come again. Like I said, components, yeah? We have components and we have elements. 
And I used a car as an example. So a car is a complete system now, right? But remember that this car is actually made up of different parts. So we have components that mix up the, um, the car. But in that component, you still have what we call the elements. These are those little particles that you could actually merge together, right, to form a component, all right? So I think I gave examples of um, those UI um, those UI elements that you can actually join together. So we have stuff like the buttons, um, the text field, all right, the check boxes, those little, little things, those radio buttons, those drop down menus, those icons, those tool tips, um, progress bars. Don't worry, as time goes on, you see some of all, all these things, the example as it's going on. Then, um, then also, and I said, okay, now on component itself, so components are just like, they are more complex than the UI elements, right? So while the UI elements are those small particles, right, that can actually exist individually, hmm, you need those small particles coming together to form a component. So note this now, the UI elements are what we use in building a component. A component cannot exist without a UI element. I don't know if I'm actually explaining it better now. A component cannot exist without a UI element because just the same way now that we as human beings, we need our hands, we need our head, need every part of our body to become a full-fledged human being. The same way two components need elements to become a complete system or a complete body, then with those elements now, you can now use the elements to build um, different aspects, bring them together to form a complete system, which is now your UI design. All right, so like I said, in the car now, the car is the complete system, but this car cannot be a complete system if you don't have many components coming together, like the engine, um, the doors, the chairs, the steering, the wheels, everything there. So now those components, now let's use the engine as an example. The engine is a component that can actually complement, that, um, that you, um, fill up spaces to make the car a complete system. But that engine itself also has smaller parts on its own, right? So those smaller parts on its own are, at, are what we call the UI elements. And I gave examples of UI elements as, again, as buttons, text field, check boxes, radio buttons, um, drop down menus, and the rest of them. Then for the components now that you can use all these buttons, text field, check boxes, radio buttons to create uh, stuff like navigation bar now, because navigation bar, you can see even buttons in the navigation bar. You can see drop downs in the navigation bar. You can see icons in the navigation bar, right? You also have a search bar too. You also have a modal dialogue, right? You know those models where you when, when they pop up, you know what I'm saying? So when those models pop up, you can have actions there. Like you can have, let's say for example, you want to make a withdrawal from your phone, and you click on withdraw, and they ask you, are you sure you want to withdraw? That's a modal, all right? You now have two actions: they either yes, withdraw, or no, cancel. So this thing now actually has a button in it. So that means this is a component holding those small elements. Right, you also have um, accordions. And I showed you an example of an accordion here now from this website where you can have, where you click there and you see the complete drop downs, the details of that particular thing you're reading about. And I said they are mostly used for FAQs and the rest of them. So when you see how can I use the system, you will not see the full details on how to use the system until you click on that drop down that will now expand and show you the rest. That is the job of an accordion. Then I said carousel are the ones that slide from left to right, right? Some of them, even when they're developing them, they can actually go automatically, or you can actually click a button for them to either move to the next one, just like you're swiping left to right from your phone, all right? Then we have tabs. Um, um, we have tabs, the ones that will actually, you click to take you to a different page, click on this part to take you to a different page, don't worry, as, and like, like I said, as time goes on, we'll get to see those examples too. Then we also have the date picker. 
So remember that sometimes if you want, even when you want to set time and date on your on your phones to you click on the select dates and you just see that pop up there. You now have to select a particular date or you want to check your calendar and those stops. Those are components, all right? Now then I said the common one too that a lot of us see, in fact, we see it every day and every time we want to apply, and anytime we want to log into any system is the login form. The ones that you have to input your name, input your um, password and the rest of them. So individually, they are elements, but you brought many elements together. One of them is the bottom. You brought the bottom elements. You have check boxes. Those ones that ask you click on this if you agree to our terms and conditions. Those are check boxes, right? You select. You brought that one two together. Then you um, also select the input field where you want to input your name, your password, and the rest of them. That's three. That means you have your input field your buttons, your checkbox now, right? You can even have link text, the ones that will tell you if you've already signed up, click login. If you've not signed up, create accounts, click sign up, right? So all these things, you now bring them together and form and, and use it to create a form. That form has become a component which is made up of different elements. So is this clear now? Okay, um, Paul, you can ask a question. All right, I think I'm, I'm getting good reactions now. So maybe I, I actually explain this one better. Yeah. Um, Paul, you can ask a question. Mm. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Um, I think a whole lot of those are actually having a hard time really getting the whole thing we're talking about without being more. Without, without what? Without seeing what it is we're talking about, like maybe a slide or something or an example of things. I'm not, I'm just looking yeah, at yeah, yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there. So like I said, um, we, I'm actually just, um, telling you guys what this is about. Uh, glad is, all right, become, right? Glad is become. Okay, like I said, uh, I'll be showing you guys something, but I wanted to ask before if there's anyone. Yeah, okay, blessing, ask a question before I move on. Hello, blessing. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, good, good evening, good evening. I wanted to, I'm not just to talk on something. Like that, you is like because most of us don't. Okay, not that I don't understand. I do, but some things are not very clear because I know slide like presentation or like no pictorial presentation or something. And for me, so I can't really hear you. And because I'm not doing this, place, like I get in a even more confused hearing them. Thank you. Okay. All right, so um, I want to make um, this clear to you guys. So it will actually help you in the long run too, yeah? Um, when you have, um, I know that a lot of us have to deal with pictures, yeah? But, um, and which I said, I was actually going there. So I think it's just a little bit of um, me not like being patient enough, right? But I'm just going to give this advice generally to every one of us that um, we are all aspiring product designers. And a lot of times we would have to deal with imaginations even before we see a picture. All right. I was actually going to show you guys examples. And also I said that you guys should come up with one that I'll have to design live here. Um, so, but having said that, I, and also I said from the beginning that I'm going to share um, a resource for you guys to see them and read for them and even interact with them. All right. Um, okay. Um, Igwe, ask a question before I move on, please. There's no time. Are you there? 
Okay, I'll move on. So there's no time. I'll move on. All right. So um, can you guys see my screen? Um, someone should just mute and um, unmute and um, reply because I'm no longer seeing. What... Um, um, can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, sorry. I was waiting for you guys to unmute me so that I can speak. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity that you've given to me to speak. So my question, um, yeah, just yeah. today, I understood everything that you just said. Well, there's something I want to ask. Um, at some point, when, when you were explaining um, what um, UI elements are and what UI components are, um, I want to ask, yeah. can, a compon can, can a UI component at some point become a UI element? Let me say now you are de designing some maybe a lot of components that uh, I don't like, like a lot of things you want to just put it together. Can you call like yeah. bringing just like a page now, you can call that a component yeah. and then another page you can call that a component, then another page you can call that a, com a component now. Now I'm bringing those okay. three pages together now. Can you call mm. that in? a component then other ones now become elements yeah that is my question that so is my I, question um then yeah i think then the, okay go on go on ask us one question okay then another one is the just like the screen that you showed us about um accordion uh, accordion yes when you when there was a drop down and then th those things showed up now you know yeah. as you are doing it those things were functional like i want to ask um i say um our graph uh, you are ux designers making those designs yeah. those their designs functional like make it come out yeah. in real life or something just like that thing yeah. that you just showed us then once, once you click yeah. once you click that drop down it drops down and then gives you the message so I want to ask, yeah. is there any, are we the ones that will make the designs to come out like that? That is my question. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, first of all, I will actually thank you very much because this question is actually like, it's kind of the kind of questions that you'll be expecting from classes like this. Um, so for the first question, um, can UI elements become a component? Yes. Um, so um, I think the word itself, elements, yeah, oh, sorry, component, sorry. The word itself, component, um, can be a lot. It can be the normal way it's supposed to be, which is the normal term it's supposed to be used for. Um, and also, with what we're doing now, when we're designing now, we still have stuff called components, right? So even when you have the normal components that everything will give to you, as long as you've now come up and created a little, like let's just say a lot of stuff together, anything you're going to reuse in your system, like I said in my definition that there are what you reuse, there are reusable um, assets in a system. So let's say, for example, your buttons, if you're using a stroke button or if you're using a round button, that button has to be consistent in all your systems. So as long as it's something that you can reuse all the time, it is already a component. I don't know if that's clear. Yeah, um, yes, but you yeah. just said something now about buttons. Like I'm seeing mm -hmm. a component as a, a kind of page that makes up other little, little things, just like you gave us example on that is button, the scroll bar. Okay, so like I said, and, yes, yeah, sir. like I said, yeah. Um, sometimes, like I said, some of these um, elements we see can be regarded as um, components also. And I use the button as example. Oh. A button is also, okay. an, um, is also an element and a button can also be a component because it is being reused in the whole system. Do you understand? So sometimes you now have the, okay. especially those buttons that are complex, the button that has um, kind of like um, an icon attached to it, it's already a component. Do you get? So in as much okay. as a, um, a button yeah. can also be an element on its own, there are situations where it can actually be a component. Then also, when you're yeah. now designing and you've done a, lot, a couple yeah. of things together and you know you want to yeah. reuse them in your system, they become a component. Yeah. 
For example, okay. you are designing an e-commerce website. You know, you have to design a card where you now place the image of the product you are trying to sell. And you now yes, see, yes. like, you now add the button that will tell you add to cards and also the one that will the amount. Also, where you put stars that will show the ratings of that particular product. That card now is already a company. So, you notice in all the systems of the e-commerce websites, you will see those cards all around them. All right? Yes, 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 I can get you, sir. Yeah, so, I'm um, sorry, please, remind me the question again. Okay, the second one. Is it the second one, sir? Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Yeah, yeah, ask me the second question. Remind me second question. Okay, my, okay, my second question is actually... I can said, hear you, remind uh, me second question. Okay, I said when you are explaining a codium, like those things were like functional. You clicked on that that button, the thing just dropped okay. down. Like what I, I asked, I said um yeah. whether a UI UX designer after making the design, is it our duty mm. as UI UX designer to make that thing functional just like you did? You clicked on that drop down, okay. the thing dropped down, and then those details you are giving out. Okay, so first thing I'll tell you, yes and yes. Um, let me give you an example. I actually designed, um, I, I recently designed something, um, sorry, earlier this year actually, around January. And yeah, so now the reason why we, um, we design or show, show this prototype, is actually a prototype, and I think you guys get a prototype. Probably I might be the one taking you guys on prototype. I don't know yet. So um, prototypes are like me now. You know when we when we do our designs, we want to test and want to give them to these clients, our bosses, and even the developers. Too. We try to show those interactions and let the developers know that this is how we want this thing to behave, right? If I should click on this button and I have to, and I want the slider, I want it to come from the left. Or should come from the right, or should come from the middle. If you can achieve that, there is no problem. You can actually have a conversation with them, telling them that this is how you want the thing, or you can actually allow the front end developer to come up with interactions that will actually fit your design. Do you get? But there are some of these prototypes that you have to let them know that this is how you want them to behave. And I'll give an example. When I designed this stuff here, all right. So you see this particular thing here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I can just see little bit that. Um, hello developer, please. I want this thing to rotate, right? But I went ahead and um, designed, um, sorry, made this thing, a prototype this thing, and it was actually turning on its own. So this is, let me show where the components is. Um, right, so look at them here. This is where I made the interaction. And the minute I the interaction, I brought them to the design, right? And if I yes. play this thing now, let me try and play this. You would see now that it also um, reacts on its own, even without it developing anything. So this is still um, a Figma prototype, which that is harmless. Okay. So you can even just send this to your client and tell them that this is how, especially when you know that now that you are not going to show, or you might not be there when developers are working. You can just do those interactions and give it to them and let them know that okay, they can carry on with this. So you can see. It's actually your personal okay. Yes, yes. Without me doing yeah. anything. Right? Okay. Okay, exactly. okay. Okay. So even when I click on this part, I I prototype this too. I prototype the one for this um drop down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I did the one for about us as well. Okay. Do you understand? So now yes, sir. on the now in the blue bar, um look, this is now the main site. I think they finished developing this last last um, week. And yeah, look at the, the main site here. So, and it's actually okay. the same way I told them. So, so even on the services too, look at it's actually coming down the same way I wanted it to. All right? Okay. Oh, okay, sir. I want to get something clear. Like you achieve yeah. this, um, making it functional through prototyping, only through prototyping as yeah, a UI UI design. Okay, then the exactly. um, front end developers now will now make it functional in their own ends. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. 
Exactly. Thank you, sir. So you are in control of how your 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 website has um, the feel, the interactions, the behaviors, the colors, the mood, the texture, everything about how the website should actually um, yes. push itself to the audience. You are in charge of it. Okay. So sometimes, even when you can achieve those those interactions, you can just draw it on the paper. But first of all, the advice try to know the strength of your developer before you design anything. If they can't achieve it, then it's nonsense. So make sure that they can actually achieve that interaction. Then you tell them that this is what I want from the design. This is what I want, how okay. I want um, it to behave and all that. And I think you guys can come up on the good ground and go on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Okay, no one is raising their hand again. Let me continue then. Um, so now on the UI components here, I told you guys about a lot of stuff and I told you guys about bottom sheets. And this one here is an example of a bottom sheet. So um, you guys have seen something like this, right? The one that slides from the um, from down to the up to the center, something like this. So if you click on this, you can see actions either to delete or share or whatever it is. This is um, they call it action sheets, but sometimes we call it a um, bottom sheet because it slides from the bottom down up. We have alerts, so I'm going to share examples of alerts too. Um, so this is a pop up alert, right? And it has just one action. This is a model too, right? But um, you can call this an alert because it's just saying or telling you a particular information or telling you, okay, let's say, for example, your system or your system is low, you get a sudden pop-up and a last thing that, hey, your system is low, go and charge your system, stuff like that. Your battery is low, your battery is 10%, go and charge the battery. These are alerts, right? Then we have badges. Um, so I'm just going to tell you, show you guys this. So we have badges. Now, if you notice, there are some places that, um, they'll be telling now, okay, like notification, you have swift notifications. You can see them now even in your WhatsApp. When you've not read like up to like 100 messages, you see even on those groups, on those um, individual chats you have, you just see, you know, three unread messages, four unread messages. Those things, they are called, um, um, what we call it, the icon badge. So they are telling you that this is what have not been touched or what have not been done. You can even see this badge even on your... Um, your notification icons, all those notifications that will just show you examples of like, you have three notifications there or four notifications, depending, right? And of course you have your buttons. Um, I, I'm not even supposed to show you buttons here. Then we have, so yes, I'm, I'm actually sharing this now. Let me drop this one now on the comment section so that you guys can pick it up and save it for later. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Blossom, you can ask a question. Hello, Blossom. Hello. Okay, why is she still um, trying to mute or whatever? I'm just going to continue. All right, so um, these are different components. Yeah, we have the check boxes, like I said here. So check box and radio buttons, they are different things. All right, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you an example for the check boxes. So these are radio buttons, right? This one's here. So the difference between a check box and a radio button is simple. First of all, the radio button is always round, then the check box are always the ones that have square and check marks. Um, so the actual difference between the two of them is that you have a list of items or you have a list of things that um, down the menu. Mm? If they have radio buttons attached to them, which is like something like this, you can only select one at a time. You can't select two. So it is either yes or no. It is either you're selecting one or you're selecting two. For example, let them say, how many users do you want on your system? You now have one, two, three, four, five. You can select that five or you can select that six. You can select five and six. You can select one 
and not both or not more than one. That is the work of radio button. But if you have a check box, you can check multiple items. For example, select the types of food you want or you like. Select the kind of sports you like. You can select, I like basketball, I like soccer, I like baseball, I like long tennis, blah, blah, blah. Right, you can select multiple options. While um, on the radio button, you can only select one and nothing but one. If you like have one million, one million items on the on the board, you can only select one at a time. But if you have your checkbox, you can select one. You can select, you can even select every single thing on that item menu. I don't know if that is clear to. So. Is that clear? Okay. Um. So Blossom is still recent. I've not heard anything from her yet. Um. So right. So I'll just um. Let's get our hands a little bit dirty. I think it's already um past an hour. So I I might just do something very simple, and you guys should just um. Oh sorry. Let me take this here. Uh. examples right. so I, I just believe that you guys already understand what um, um how to use sigma um, and also please i would also advise before you get into any class as long as you have the timetable you can go ahead and read and research about those things you are about being taught before coming to the class it helps a lot all right um so um first of all i think i'm just going to select my frame please if i'm being too fast or i say something you don't understand or you want to ask me a question just unmute and just say hi so that i can actually come back and see who's talking because right now i'm on this screen and i can't see what's happening on discord sorry on the zoom right so um let's create uh um, okay, let's create a form. Let's create a form. So I'm going to select this. All right. So um, first things first, um, this is my frame. And this is a desktop frame. I don't know who taught you guys introduction to Figma. Uh, or before you design anything on Figma, you have to select a frame where those designs can be placed. So if you want to select, um, if you want to design on the web version, you can either use, let me select this frame again, or the shortcuts clicking on F. You can either select my, um, MacBook Air screen. You know, these are all the screen sizes available. These are all the screen sizes available for um, when you want to design a, devil, um, sorry, a, a desktop or a laptop screen design. So for phones, these are the screen types available for phones, ranging from Android large to iPhone 14. All right. So, but what I want to do now, I want to design. Um, I want to design. Let me say two variations: the simple one, the very simple one, and kind of like they are both simple, but one is stylish and the other one is just um, an easy um, onboarding. All right. So first things first, I would. Um, let me select another frame and fill it up here. So while I design, I'll tell you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right. So I have a frame already before, and I selected another frame. So I'm just going to name this here as um, desktop desktop um, frame. Then I'm going to say this as um, side background. Right. So this side background, the one inside I just added here, um, I want to divide it into two so that I have two equal parts while I have a picture on the left and I have my form on the right. All right. So now I have selected, I'm going to select just that side frame here. And I'll come to this part here where I have the width of 144. I'll use my, um, I'll just use um, divided right this forward um, slash divided by two and it gives me the accurate um div uh, division of 
this the, the perfect half of this whole system or the whole frame right so i'm just going to give it a color so that we can see what we are doing all right so this is it we have two perfectly fitted um, frames now we have the one here and we have this one here so i want to make this more stylish there's something we call plugins on design system and figma so plugins are things that other creators other design creators um, help to make our work easier all right so for example I want to add an image here now on this space. I don't need to go outside now and delete, uh, sorry, and download images. As long as what I'm looking for is not um, one kind of like um, difficult thing to find. If it's so simple, I can just use Unsplash plugin and find a simple picture and just add here. So I'm going to be running the, um, the plugin now. All right, so I'm going to right click come to plugins, I already saved the plugins, right? So, but if you ha don't have any plugins yet, you can just go and say, find more plugins. So if you find more plugins, click on this, or you select this one here, this thing here called resources. So when you collect select resources here, you can search for plugins, whichever one you have. So I can search for Unsplash, but since I've used this recently here, I can find it here as well. So I can click on run. And um, so it's taking a bit of time. Yeah, okay, it's coming up now. Yeah, so we have um, this. I'm just going to um, select this background so that it knows that I want to fill in the picture here. So whichever picture I select, it's automatically going to fit in this box. So let's search for um, black abstracts background and such let's see what it will give us um, oh okay so let's let's take this let's see how far we can play with all this it's coming up coming up all right, I don't, I don't think I like this image. Let me change it to something like this, this one. Oh no. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one off back. Um, okay, so we have this now. Then also I have this settled so before we design to what we do is um, we do a lot of grid systems and all those things. So these ones are the things that we use in settling our system. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm just going to go through um, that part like quickly so that I can I just know what I'm doing so that um, when the time for that class comes, we deal with that one as well. So I'm just going to rush this. Just pardon me. That's not what we are learning today. Um, Okay, so I just want to use this so I can know what I'm doing. Let me see, I'm adding this here. This is going to be where my, my logo will be. Um, and text, sorry. Can you guys still hear me? Sorry, let me be sure that I'm not the only one here. Okay, I see hearing me.
Okay. Um, I am not know. I don't know how far you guys went on your introduction to Figma. So most of these things, I'm. I think I'm just assuming that you guys know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to explain the ones that I can for now. So if it comes to like practicals of product design now, we can get them like you can get dive deep into all these things here. All right. So I'm, like I said, I might just I'm just basically focusing on the UI element. So forget what I'm just doing here. I'm just trying to make a lot of cases. So I'm just going to copy this text here and quick one so that I don't waste any time. Uh, let me place it here. Twenty-four. Okay, sorry. Let me take this out. All right, uh, this is looking fine. So now um, the next thing you want to do is let's say um, click account. Let me just select this color here. Sorry that I'm being fast. Uh, not my means, not my fault. I'm just gonna. Okay. So because I want to get the exact um, center of this, yeah. So I have to also select and create another frame so that I know the center of this exactly. Uh, so putting this here inside the frame. Sorry, let me duplicate this instead. Okay, better. Okay, um, create account. So the next thing I want to do is um, add a little text here, something like um, kindly create an account with us to enjoy full features. Uh, I'm going to do this here. All right, so just pardon me, let me take something here. Uh, don't worry, I'm just gonna do something else. All right, so we are gonna take, um, we're gonna take an input field. So please pardon me. I don't have to design them from scratch due to um, time. So um, first is first, to, there's something we call design systems. They already have built elements, built components that you can just copy and paste. But let's, in fact, sorry, I'm just gonna do this. Um, 
so that you guys get um all right so i want to create um a button and i want to create an input field all right so and i want to create two two kinds of button and two and also an input field now this is the idea i want one that will tell you continue with google or sign up with google then we have one that will tell you um just sign up okay so first things first i'm just going to select um, my frame here or rather i'm just going to write um continue with google instead um sign up with google all right so then I'll click on sheet a don't worry guys we'll, we'll get to that level and when we get there we'll do magic with that um for now just pardon me all right so i'm just going to do something like this and select this place in the middle give it around like let's say 100 and give it a feel so i think i'm just going to reduce this a bit 44. that's that's too small 52 and this making this um text itself here 16. okay so we have this button here then another thing i'm going to do now is i want to add them um, icon to it right so I, I will add a google icon yeah I think that makes more sense. I'll add the Google icon. So what I'll do is I'll come back to this part here and I'll search for brand fetch. So brand fetch is a plugin too that helps you um you know get a lot of all these brands and get their icons, the original icons. I'm able to run this plugin in this file. Why? Why is that? Sorry. Oh, uh, I think I'm just okay. It's up. It's up. All right. So I'm going to say, okay, this is Google and this is Apple. I already searched them before. So I'll select this Google icon. Then I'm going to take the the icon itself. Oh, this is JPEG. Sorry. I need the SVG. Yeah. So I made mention of SVG. SVG are, you know, they're like icons that you can actually re-edit yourself. PNGs are the ones that just come without backgrounds and you can't edit anything. You can't change the colors or anything at all. But if it's SVG, it comes like a raw icon that you could still manipulate. For example, this now I can still change this color here to whichever color I want. Right? Let's say I want to change it to another color. Check it. So this is the difference between an SVG and um, an SVG and um what do you call it a png so i'm going to lock this and give it a, let's say 24 size 24 got it and place it inside this button so i think i'm going to reduce a bit let me make it 20. All right fine then this is space of eight Our design is coming good now. Uh, then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to say this or because there's a system to this. You know, when you have stuff like this, they will tell you, do you want to sign up as with Google or you want to, you know, create your own account yourself? So that's why we do stuff like this. So then the next thing I want to do now, I'm going to select this now, drag it down. All right, so I'm, and I'm taking this off. So what I'll, what I'll write here is create account. I hope you guys are following. No, please, if I'm if I'm if I make you lost, but if I'm losing track of what I'm, just draw me back up. So I'm going to give this. Let's not make this same color as that. I'm going to give it blue. So let's say, for example, blue is the brand color. I think for this design sake, let me even make this thing add a little bit of blue to it. Um, so blue, then I'm going to
Okay, I think this, this makes more sense then. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we have this. Then we have um, uh, the one here that will tell you, um, tell you, um, I agree to, to the terms and condition. Okay, by clicking here, sorry, by clicking here, you, you agree to the terms and conditions. So let's keep it that way. So what I will do here now is um, I'll need a checkbox here. All right. So the checkbox now is what we would use in, um, you know, identifying or selecting that this person actually performs this action. So I wanted to get a checkbox. I would actually go back here and search for an icon pack itself. All right. So let's say ion icons. Let's select search for ion icons. Let's see if I have checkbox. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one. Okay. And then take it a bit. So let's give it 20. So 20. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing now. Okay. Then we we'll have one more. So okay, what I'll do here is I'm just gonna do that stuff that we all know. Um C and C. So I'm going to make this one here on the line. On the line to give it blue color. And to blue color. Yep. Um, I think this is coming up really well. Then one thing again that I'll still add is um already have an account. Have an account. And I'll say login. I'm going to make it bold, then I'll give it the blue icon as well. Okay, so what is now left is, um, what is left here is our, uh, our impute fields, right? So we want to, we want them to sign in with their name, their email address, and um, their phone number. So we can create as well, do something like this too. But since it's for the input field here, yeah, um, we don't have, we don't need them. Um, we don't need this. We're gonna just take um, a bit to a stroke here, then pick out the color or make it white instead. We don't need this color too. Okay, so I have my first input field done. I'm going to do the same thing now a couple of times. Let's say, um, so let's take this thing down a bit. Then one more. 
Okay, so we have one, two, three. I'm going to give them up. So this is full name. This is um email address. Email address. And this is phone number. All right. So if you notice, some of them they would have icons from at the beginning, right? Stuff like this. Let's say um let me bring this and add something here. You have icons, yes, that if you, um, like, let's say, this is phone number, let's say, um, call phone. You have something like this, oh Christ. Then make it 20. So I'm going to add a noun again. Let's see, email. Then here, user. Okay, so with this, we already have a system. And everything we need here is actually complete, all right? So if you notice now, I've used little components or little elements to complete and form a whole component. So we can now say this whole thing here is a component. This is a form, right? And where are the elements in this? We have the buttons, we have the input field, we have the icons, right? So all these things now has actually added up to give us a complete system. And with that, we have our first, our very first um, sign up page. So um, I hope that actually makes sense. You can ask the questions now if you want. Yeah, I think it's fun. Don't worry, when you guys start designing, you, you really love designs. Design is something so beautiful that everything you have, every creativity can just pour it out. Um, design is expression. Um, and it's just like every designer has this little bit of breath from themselves to whatever they are doing, okay? So, um, okay, I'll start with Gladys. Gladys, can you speak now? Yeah, okay, fine. Someone said, so, someone said something about password. I, I, I love that. Um, so, like I said, every design has an intent, okay? There are some systems that even the password is not as important as your email address. So, with your email address, they can send you um, a password for you to go and reset from somewhere else. Then you come back and, you know, do what you want to do, Okay. So yeah, every design has an intent to it. Right, so um, Gladys, can you go first? Or meet and speak. Okay. My, yeah, I my, can hear my, you now. I think this information is too much for us. Like we haven't even created a frame yet. You understand? I know you are trying to explain to us the components. We, I know we started off wrongly because of the network, uh, because the network was actually fluctuating. And the thing is that we are not even flowing with you. That is the gospel truth. A lot of us then, people that I know that are playing with you are people that are pro unique or people that have this idea. Because me, I'm a novice in, 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 on Sigma. I have no knowledge of it. You understand? I'm trying okay. to flow with you. I, I joined this thing with my whole heart. You understand? I was actually explaining, even if you are going to like set up this component, that you, that you will do something like that. We'll click on, let me just say, we'll click on this icon, we'll click on teach. Then, then these are our notes that we kept here will be working. So anyone you might mention, then we we'll track it down so that when, like, if I decide to go back to it this night, then I can easily cope. I can easily do the same thing you do. 
Now, if I can okay. do the same thing with you, I'm not a good student and you didn't teach me well. Okay, so okay, I let, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Um, I think there is a little bit of misunderstanding here. Um, so, like I told you guys, even before I started designing, I I, I also ask questions like I hope you guys are paying attention, and and I'm seeing a lot of comments too. Like people are, this is quite clear. This is quite clear. But this is what I was telling you. I think I actually called you up on one of your comments and I said, calm down, please. The thing here is, yeah. yeah, this is a process to something. I am not even supposed to even design anything tonight. I am supposed to tell you guys about UI components and give you examples. But I went as far as designing one so that I don't just show you examples that is online. Do you see what I did there? I actually showed you guys an example from this. I'm going to share my screen again. I, I think you guys can see my screen. I was pointing out this thing. I said, do you know bottom sheets? Do you know alerts? Do you know badges? Do you know buttons? Do you know cards? And I was giving all these examples. But I wanted also to show you guys a first-hand example. And I remember while I was working, I said, I don't know who taught you guys introduction to Figma. This person should have actually made um, justice to some of these things, all right? But I still explained them while I was designing. I am just supposed to just carry one and drop it there and say this is a form, right? And this form has landing, it has um, input with it has buttons, and this is a form. But as I went as far as designing it from scratch, remember also I wanted to go and pick all those components from one of my design. I said, no, let me even design them from scratch. And I designed everything from scratch, even getting those icons from, my, from my, um, um, an icon pack, all right? So on my own side, I am trying to make it even much easier for you guys so that when you start um, the class properly on designing, you're already familiar with what you are doing. I understand yeah. that a lot of you are novice. This is the reason why I, I am not even taking things online and just feeding you guys with things that are online. Remember also, while I was even making my explanations on what components and UIs are, I didn't start using the UI terms. I went in as bringing a real life example of a car to explain what a UI and a, U, um, a UI component and a UI elements are. I don't know if you get what I'm saying now. Yeah. All right, so now um, I would also say it again. Yeah, I understand that this is, this might actually be a lot, but this is not the class. It's not even time for you guys to start designing yet. It will come to that, all right? But what I wanted to show you guys is this. I'm going to show it again. This is my main aim here. Just this one, two, and three with these buttons here or these icons here, four. These are the main things. I am showing you guys how this whole button or this element came together to form a component because this, you cannot call this whole thing here a component. A component as as in a form, all right? But it would have been boring if I just showed you guys this one now. And I'm not actually designing something that would even bring or even draw your attention to what I'm teaching you. I, If you actually see some comments, people are like, wow, this is fun, this is nice. That is because I'm trying to show you guys what you can do. I'm not making it boring for everybody. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. Um, Amarachi, you can go ahead. I love you. Thank you. Um, who are you speaking? Hello, good, e Hello. good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Hi. Uh, fine. I want to ask a question based on the design. Okay. We are, how we are you able to align the icons and the tests? That I just thought okay. I wanted to ask. So, um, okay, yeah, fine. Um, like I will say again, it's not a time for me to teach you guys that thing yet because there will still be classes on that. But I will still make it easier again so that when you're getting there, you get because we're already like way past our time. All right, so. Um, like I told you, there was something I did earlier and I said 
it is not supposed to be my place now to teach you. This is the grid system that I was looking at. So this thing helps me to align that I mustn't cross this edge. So this one that looks kind of like red colors are the parts where I could just use to work on. So anything coming on this side now, like on this empty space, I don't want it, right? So if you notice, I'm aligning both my text, everything, and where I'm supposed to put my icons, uh, my um, logo to be. And even on this side to here, if you notice on this side to here, it's, it's empty. So whatever I'm doing must not cross this place as long as it is the design. But you can use images to uh, um, occupy that space or use background design and illustrations to occupy those places. It doesn't matter. But if it's the design itself, like what the users would interact with, they shouldn't cross. So what I'm just telling my user or my design now is that I am only working on every, like everything that I'm working on must be inside this reddish center, this reddish part here, and not getting behind these borders or margins, right? So I use those things too to align my work most of the time to keep consistency and um, stuff like that too. Then also with these ones here, there's no determined one because I didn't use rulers. You can use rulers too to do that, but when the time comes, you get, get to those parts. So what I was able to do is I make sure that everything that I'm doing here doesn't cross each other. So the longest item here is the button, right? So if this is the button, that means Okay, this is, um, sorry, this text itself. So that means everything here, nothing crosses that text. That is the way you just make sure that everything is aligned. But it might actually be a lot now. When you, you, you'll be taught on um, alignments, grid systems, I think you understand better. For now, I'm actually working on UI components. So the next thing, please, there's, there's no more. And thank God, Biko, I'm very, very sorry. It's not what we discussed. Um, okay, Ugu, Chidima, please, go on. Um, Chidima, go on. Okay, um, please, blessing, go on. Can you hear me? Yeah, bless you. Yeah, I can hear you. Go on. Right. Yesterday, I huh? succeeded in, yesterday, I succeeded in creating a Twitter account. So, okay. I wanted to do the same. I wanted to take on the Figma team. So, I came to understand that I, my text needs to reach 126 before it can be built. So it needs to do what? Needs to get to one to six. I mean, the size before it gets. Oh. The oh, I, I think I think you you're missing something. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let's fix that um, standing. So this is it here. Um, so let's say we have a text. Let me take this. Let me even do some errors. Okay, so we have a text here. Um, let's see. So this is blessing here. Yeah? This is the text yes. now. Hmm? Your screen is not sharing. It's still sharing. I can't you see the screen? No, I can't see your screen. It's still sharing. Oh. If you can see now, let me know, please. I still can't see. Wow. Can anyone else see my screen? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, no, we can't see it. I think it's not okay. Let me try again. What about now? We can see it. Ouch. Uh, not yet. 
Not what what seems to be the problem now? No. Uh, uh, shouldn't have stopped sharing several time. If it is fake time, then you you attend to the message. Let them. Okay, no problem. So yeah, um, Gaius, go on, go on, Gaius, go on, please. Hello, Gaius. I think there are just two more people raising their hands. Um, Gaius and the Mugu Chidima. Okay. Yeah, Any of you? Yeah, yeah, good evening, brother. Okay. Okay. Uh, mine is not really a question. I just want, really want to appreciate you for the class. I mean, uh, um, the way you thought, the examples you gave us, I mean, like the way you just showed us practically how the UI elements can become UI FM components. It was, I don't know, it was really, I really, I just really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, yes, um, Zeke. 